Good morning. We are ending this week of reflections on the enormity of our need and the drastic nature of God's rescue of us. We're examining some of the pictures that the scripture gives us in terms of what our need is. And the last thing that we talked about last Sunday was this idea that sin damages us, that it it hurts us. And I think you know this, all of us know this, that sin has wounded our family. Sin has, has dr driven marriages into divorce. Sin has hurt children. Sin has damaged our society. Sin drives the whole discussion in, in, our, in our culture, in our politic, in this world. And because of that, it damages us. Sin damages us. The reason why Jesus I mean, that Isaiah 53 talks about in prophesying about Jesus, that this idea that, that we were, by his wounds, we are healed is because sin wounds us. It damages us. It hurts us. It breaks us. And I want to ask you today to take stock, honest stock, of how has sin wounded and damaged you? How has it broken you? Where are you still living with the talons of the fingerprints of past sins that you have allowed or the enemy has fortified or other people in your life or Satan has actually uh, been fortifying and saying, this is who you are, this damage, you're damaged goods, you're never going to be this, you're never going to be out of that, you're never going to have any real hope to get past this this damage that sin, your sin or someone else's sin has done to you. I want to tell you today, that is not true. That the work of Christ on the cross is your healing. It is your healing and you can move into his direction. You can move into his healing. You can move into the power of what happened on the cross, of what happened to the resurrection, of what happened when Jesus brought the kingdom of God to earth and what's still happening because of all of those things that are pulsating, ripple affecting, that are coming into your world, that God wants you free. He wants you free from that and that is the, what the work of Christ has bought for you and for me. Let's reflect on that. And as we come into this Sunday, let's look Jesus square in the eye and say, Lord, I want the freedom that has come to me by your work on the cross.